Item number SCP-488. Index Meteor Attractor. Object class Euclid. Special containment procedures. Due to the small size of objects leaving SCP-448-1, suppression of public dissemination of knowledge regarding SCP-448 is sufficient for containment in the foreseeable future. SCP-448-2 is housed in a reinforced bunker at a depth of 500 meters near the military proving ground at Redacted. Triple redundant seismic sensors are in place to record meteorite impacts in the vicinity and must be tested daily for functionality. In the case of impact of meteorites above 0.5 meters in diameter, the structural integrity of the bunker must be inspected, and SCP-488-2 moved to a backup bunker located 500 meters to the south via underground tunnel if repairs are necessary. Description. SCP-488-1 is a location near Earth's L4 Lagrangian point. Though direct observation of the location has shown nothing stationary to date, objects ranging from 0.5 meters to 12 meters in diameter will spontaneously appear at this location and immediately accelerate towards the Earth. Composition varies slightly from object to object, but are consistent with rocks of extraterrestrial origin and do not appear to be artificial. Most of these objects disintegrate and burn up in the atmosphere, but a meteor of sufficient mass to impact the surface will strike every 6, 6 to 12, 1, 2 hours. SCP-488-2 is a 26-year-old Caucasian male identified as a resident of before his voluntary containment with the Foundation. SCP-488-2 is physiologically normal in all respects, apart from heavy scarring acquired from his anomalous property. To date, all objects positively identified as originating from SCP-488-1 have been recorded impacting within 100 meters of SCP-488-2, determined via extensive experimentation involving relocating SCP-488-2 between secure Foundation sites. SCP-488-2 has shown no particular ability to resist damage from these impacts, and in fact first came to the Foundation's attention when he was hospitalized on 20 after a 0.47 meter meteorite destroyed his home, killing his wife and infant son. SCP-488-2 was voluntarily contained shortly thereafter, and has remained in Foundation custody since. SCP-488-2 is unaware of how this property manifested or exactly when it started, but that he first noted an anomalous impact approximately six, six months before the zero incident and increased in regularity and severity up until the incident occurred. SCP-488-2 is usually cooperative with Foundation researchers, but suffers from severe depression and paranoia regarding his condition. SCP-488-2 is required to undergo regular psychiatric evaluation as well as the regular administration of antidepressants and sedatives. Contingencies are being developed should the objects originating from SCP-488-1 continue to increase in size until they are a threat to containment and suppression of public knowledge. These contingencies include, but are not limited to, the possibility of euthanasia of SCP-488-2.